It's Han. And it's Z. And we're, we're Monday's, Monday's newscast. So, Z, did you feel that amazing weather this weekend? Looks like spring has sprung. I sure did. So, Hannah, do you know what week it is? It's charity week. To everyone who is participating, thanks for donating, and don't forget to collect your missed work. I hope everyone who did yoga third hour today enjoyed themselves. Yes, and you can still donate, by the way. The link is on Student Council's Twitter. Sounds good. Well, speaking of this upcoming week, let's take it to John to see if this warm weather will stay. Hey guys, it's John with your sports. Today we have a high of 61 and a low of 50. Now I have a joke for you guys. Where do cows hang their paintings? Think about it while we look at our seven day forecast. So, where do cows hang their paintings? The museum. <laughs> Anyways, let's send it back to our anchors. Funny joke, John. Anyways, it's March, and that means March's reading month is here. Indeed, and according to SLHS, these are the top eight classical literature in alphabetical order. Catcher in the Rye, My Favorite, Great Gatsby, House on Mango Street, To Kill a Mockingbird, Lord the Flies, Of Mice and Men, A Raisin in the Sun, and Romeo and Juliet. Wow, what great books. Also, congratulations to Aurora Mitchell for correctly choosing seven out of the eight classics that are moving to round two in March Book Madness. Shout out to Mrs. Crowell, who chose seven out of the eight, and good job to DV and Brian Mitchell, who chose six out of the eight correctly. Stop by the library to pick up your prize. Congrats to the winners, and for round two, we are choosing the top four in classic literature according to SLHS students and staff. Come to the library next week to make your choices. On a different note, happy belated birthday to Miss Shee, whose birthday was yesterday. Now let's see what's happening in sports. Hey, SL, it's Troy with your Monday sportscast. Last weekend, junior Nicholas Ellis had a great weekend representing Southline in the regional gymnastics competition. Let's check out a highlight video.
Great job, great job, Nicola. Also, shout out to one of our very own, Kelsey O'Connor, for being nominated by the Detroit Free Press for Girls Skier of the Year. Uh, this week, boys basketball begins their postseason run this Wednesday at the Brighton Regionals. They play their first game at 7. Uh, Max Honus competed in the Regional Wrestling Tournament this weekend. He finished 40-6 and six on the season as a two-time state qualifier. Congrats, Ma congrats, Max, on a great season. Also, tryouts for spring sports begin today. Southline softball tryouts will be held in the auction from 5 to 7, uh, and Tuesday at Action Sports from 3 to 6, and Wednesday in the auction from 5 to 7. The schedule is also posted around the school on signs. Make sure to arrive 10 minutes before tryouts, and don't, for don't forget your indoor shoes. They are required to try out. Boys golf has a mandatory meeting after school in Mr. Gosshorn's room. Conditioning will begin tomorrow. And track also begins today with a meeting at the media center at 2.30. That's all, I have you, that's all I have for you guys today. Now let's send it back to those anchors with more news. Now for you seniors, the rest of the announcements is for you. First of all, the senior online event tickets will be on sale during lunch on Thursday, March 12th in the Commons. Tickets are $100, cash or check. Please make sure checks are payable to SLHS Project Graduation. I can't wait for that, but don't forget a permission slip is required to attend. Slips are available in the athletic office. If you've already purchased a ticket and you are unsure if you have turned in a permission slip, you can check the list during the sale. And lastly, senior videos needs pictures and videos from elementary school till now. So please send them in to the email below, ASAP Rocky. The more the merrier. <laughs> <laughs> Seniors, you have lots to do in such a little time, so let's get to it. Yep. Well, that's all we have for you today, SL. I know you enjoyed watching your favorite newscast. They sure did. Well, let's send it to a quick video about March's Reading Month before we send you out. <laughs> Some of my favorite genres of books, of books include fantasy. Um, I also like reading science fiction. I like mysteries as well. So I like to be um, put into an adventure that is unfamiliar for me, as opposed to reading more realistic books because I have a lot of real life experience, but not a lot of fantasy experience. So I like to spend my reading time in a different world. All right, uh, my favorite genre is probably realistic fiction, and um, my favorite book will probably be Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk. It's fantastic. It's even better than the movie. The movie was sweet. All right, so I like several different books. I uh, love uh, when I was younger, Three Musketeers, enjoyed it, Harry Potter, of course, and then recently, uh, I read the book Thief. Uh, that was a really good book, and so is Ready Player One. So, love reading. It's great stuff. Uh, my favorite book is The Great Gatsby. I love the symbolism and when it was written, and the way that it's like the point of view of it. My favorite genre is cookbooks, and my favorite book is Green Eggs and Ham because there's a lot of rhymes, and it's really fun. My favorite book is Pride and Prejudice because it's a feminist novel that has a lot of forward-thinking ideas for the time period that it was created in. Um, my favorite book is The Fault in Our Stars. Um, it's about these two people that meet like, in a hospital, and it's kind of a sad book, but I like it. I read it when I need a good cry. <laughs> uh, my favorite book is American Assassin by Vince Flynn. It's a, like the story and the characters they develop, and he always makes it interesting with how he develops the action. Uh, my favorite book is Six of Crow by Leigh Bardugo, also known for her uh, Shadow and Bone Grisha trilogy. And I just like it because it's a really cool take on like uh, like 1800s Britain, but with magic. It's cool. Um, my favorite book is probably The Hunger Games. I just started reading that like last year, the series, and like it's really good. I can understand why everyone loves it. I know it's basic, but it's good.